Welcome back to more Lord of the Rings Online. In the last few episodes, I've been helping the villagers here that have escaped Dunfast, and I think this is going to culminate to a story of the day where Nurzum came. The White Wizard has taken everything from us. For your help, kind stranger, I have done my best to think back to the day we fled Dunfast. If you would like to hear it, I can share my tale. I figured it was going to be a session play. Now that the refugees from Dunfast have recovered their strength and their hope, their tale must be learned. Alright, let's figure out what happened. I am afraid of what is happening to these lands. The weather brought you out of your warm home as well, did it? A little snow never bothered anyone, but it is indeed strange. This winter is something. I've never seen snows like this before. Nay, nor I. What is this madness? The air it doesn't feel right. Terrible rumbling shakes the earth. These what in the world was that? For the Rohirrim. Gifmon, will you go look? You have experience in arms. Rumbling sounded like it came from the windmill. Which is where? Well, I guess over there. I can barely see it with this winter haze. Find that you have not the will to go further. You are too afraid, brave though you are. There's a terrible force to the northwest. I like his little cap. It's kind of funny. I do not know if we will survive this onslaught. You're pale as a ghost, Gifmund. Whatever is it? You explained to your worried neighbors about the terrible force of menace and the build and the blinding cold you felt northwest of the village. We should evacuate. Whenever terror approaches, I do not like it. I must get my child. Let's meet in the woods behind Ludeka's farm. I will not get swallowed up by that menace. I will stay inside where it is safe. I like Hirthus' plan better. Please get everyone out else out. We must run. I know we shall die at the hands of whatever it is. Please hurry, Gifmund. I must go gather my things. Alright, so let's go... Rouse the neighbors. Barge in. These are desperate times for the Rohirrim. Oh, what will become of us? I am slow, but I will try to keep up. Thank you, dear Gifmund, for coming to warn me. I am so afraid. I will meet you at the farm. Thank you, dear Gifmund. You fear for your elderly neighbor, but... An uncertain fate in Frozen Wild is better than a certain death in Dunfast. Alright. You have entered your own home. Let me grab my belongings. You have gathered some meager belongings, but you feel a great urge to keep moving. Anyone here? No. No horses. Nothing. Okay. The unearthly chill in Iothet's home reminds you that Iothet rarely comes here anymore. You hope that she is safe. I am afraid of what is happening to these lands. I will be out to meet you shortly, Gifmun. I will not be much longer. Between you and me, old friend, I have never been so afraid in my life. This unnatural winter has me on edge. But but this is worse. I have never been so afraid in my life. Ludek is terrified of the sudden change of weather in Dunfast. As terrified as you are yourself. Okay. 
Then there's that one back there. It's the one where I have to break the lock, I'm imagining. Never mind. Wasn't there a house with a lock that had to be broken down? I'm afraid of what is happening to these lands. What is it, Giftman? Why does the earth shake? You hastily tell Lilfberg to gather warm cloak food and water and meet at Hairthorn's farm. I will do as you say, but if we leave town, we shall all die of cold. This cold will kill us if that evil presence does not. Lilfberg reluctantly agrees to meet outside of Dunfast. Okay. And then, yeah, break the lock to one of the homes. Now, which one was it? I don't know. I've checked all these, right? So maybe it's that one? Yep. Very good. He doesn't look happy. What is this world coming to? Only cowards flee their homes, fight alongside me, Gifmund, and drive the enemy back. Gifmund now recalls that he was still chilled by the icy power just outside of Dunfast. A heated argument between the two neighbors ensued, and Forthir became ob obstinate. Convince him to evacuate? Coward, you would abandon your own home, Gifmund? I'll fight the enemy myself if I must. Just try to stop me. Give him an uppercut. Kick him. Only got two attacks here. Got a heal and everything. A long fight. There you go. Fourth year beaten was carried out and evacuated with the others. And I guess that's the end of the instance. Ugh. Okay. Let me get rid of this. This is unrelated. It's one of those seasonal quest things. Okay. I am afraid of what is happening to these lands. It was good of Giftman to try and remember his tale. What do you think he will do next? It's a sad thing to watch your lands die. You ask Giftman about Iothets, the men who no longer lived at Dunfast. The Daftry home piques your interest once again. Oh, Iothets, has he now old fool? He kept insisting that he was given a cursed relic, and then he left town when no one believed him. He holds himself up in the northern woods now. Ah, so maybe a relic, huh? The white wizard has taken everything from us. Uh-oh. So, I gotta be careful, because it's one of those quests that if, maybe if I do it wrong, I'll miss out on other quests, so... Come to think of it, there are other residents of the Witchshaws who have not been word of Nurzum's present. If Garwig wishes everyone to evacuate to Forlaw, it would be good for you to let them know. The fishermen live in a lonely house on the northern plains at the edge of the lake and wood. They are not friendly, but they trade us fish and game every so often. While I do not like them, I do not wish them to be eaten by a giant. So this quest must be completed before the refugees leave the Witchshaws. So let me see what's going on here. These are desperate times for the Rohirrim. That was an interesting tale, Kippen. It would seem that the missing fellow might have information for you. I will remain here and help these people get back on their feet. Do come back when you find that man. I must continue my search. So I must go do the fishing one before I continue that storyline, I think. That way there's no danger of missing any quest. So, let me take care of all that. Let me open up a hobbit present. Okay. And then we're going north. Or actually, that's going to be for Iothet. Um, Yeah, let me go for the fishing village. Let me just go to the fishing village first. Then I'll come back for these. I just want to make sure. I 
I hate when I miss a quest because I can't complete it. Oh, it's frustrating. These wargs roam a lot. It's somewhat difficult to avoid them. Okay, so there's the hut. Nobody seems to be home. Examine the fishing rack. Oh, so I already had done that. The fish on this rack are fresh caught. Perhaps the fishermen are nearby, nearby catching more fish. Okay, good. So let me go back to them and turn in a couple quests from last episode. Hope they don't chase all this way, that would be unfortunate. Invaders have wrought this misery upon us. A very good deed you, de you did, Hobbit. We'll be off at once, that's a bit of a tongue twister there. This is intolerable. That's the stuff, give it here, eh? And I'll see you get safe into Hungry Bellies. Good. So, looks like we're done with those quests. Very good. So next... Let's go find Iothet. I know it's a little bit of back and forth, but again, I just wanted to make sure I was able to complete that quest. Wilds of Wildermore. This is the Elder Wood. Looks like there's an orc camp here. Let me dismount for a second. Dang it, I, I, I was trying to dismount so I could avoid this thing, and it's an elite one too. At least I got a bleed off on him. Good. That's all I wanted. I'm doing so bad this episode, I've noticed that avoiding aggro. I've captured like every mob that's been in front of me and I've gotten in a fight with. Very sad. That's okay. But I've discovered Iothet's hideaway and I'm just gonna run in there. And looks like there he is. It's a sad thing to watch your lands die. Another stranger come to lay a curse on me, or do you seek refuge from the cold? Which is it? Speak up at once. The white wizard has taken everything from us. You seek a relic, you say. I feared and hoped this day would come. I believe I might have some information for you, stranger, but I need you to find something first. I, I'm afraid I cannot tell you without some proof in my hand, for otherwise you will not believe my story. It is in Dunfest, in my home. You will know it when you find it. So I know exactly what he's talking about because I commented on it when I first walked in his home. It's like one of those little icicle things. Like all the... all the Nurzum icicles. There was a little one on his desk. Anyways. Through the thin trees near Iothet's hideout, you see orcs patrolling the woods in great numbers. Likely pouring down from Isengard through Balewood to the northwest. You should defeat orcs in the woods of Witchaws. Indeed. Let's kill some orcs. Alright. The orcs patrolling the Witchaw seem very organized. One can only assume that their leader is somewhere nearby preparing an invasion in Nurzum's wake. Good. Let me blow this one up. Let me go kill that little guy. 
Where's that leader gonna be? Let me set that as quest focus so it's actually over there. Makes sense by all the little tents and camps. Let me kill these two. Alright, where is that leader? Oh, he's the siege leader. Yeah, so he's a warg. He's a mountain enemy. That kind of sucks. There we go. So I'm gonna get on my mount for that. You have defeated the White Hand Siege Leader in the Witch Shaws, but as long as Nurzum roams unhindered, the enemy is a greater threat than the people of Wildermore can withstand. I still need to kill some orcs. Kind of all over the place here. Alright, let me get on my pony. And maybe I'll just go over here. No orcs. There's one right there. I'll need one more. Now I need to go back to Dunfast. You have defeated a number of orc invaders pouring in from Isengard through Balewood, making the Witch Shaw safer for a short time at least. So let's see about this clue to the relic. Barge in this guy's house again. So I'm as dafty as it was before. Before you feel a strong chill. So there you go, this stone fragment. And it's cold to the touch. The ice cold fragment is very similar to the formations you see on Nurzum and on the land wherever he goes. Get on my war steed. Be able to ride a little faster with that. Okay. We're making good progress. Very good progress. Should be getting some answers here, hopefully. These lands were once so fair. Yes, that is it. An unmistakable relic of some terrible power. I hate it. Its power is everywhere now. It is the reason I live here instead of my true home. I cannot seem to get away from it, and it has brought evil upon us. Now that you feel its power, I will tell you how I came by it. I am sure that it is the reason Wildermort is falling into wintry ruin. It is my fault. Looks like it's going to be another session play quest. It's a sad thing to watch your lands die. I am ready to tell you my strange tale, Kippen. No one has ever believed me, but I hope you will now that you have touched the stone. This is not a memory I wish to relive, but I will if it helps you save our land. There is a story behind the stone fragment uncovered in Dunfast, an old and dark one. The White Wizard has taken everything from us. I will tell you everything I remember, Kippen. You will wish me dead when you hear what I did to Wildermore. If you wish to know how I came by the stone, I will tell you. It was a year ago or so, and it was a fine green day. I walked often when it was warmer, for the woods were fair and hale. Let 
Yeah, it's beautiful out here without all the snow. It is a sad thing to watch your lands die. Iothet's voice paints a picture in your mind of his walk on the fateful day a year or so ago. The woods of the Witch House feel very different than the bare white tines protruding from the snow today. Iothet remembers walking in the green woods of the Witch House. Is that a fellow wanderer, see I head? Can't be good. Hail, traveler. What is your errand, my good fellow? Are you from this land? Pray answer. Why, yes, I am. Can I... I am weary. You will invite me into your home to discuss many things. I see. I see that you are weary, sir. Won't you come and sit in my home? Dunfast is not far. The White Wizard has taken everything from us. Yes, do come rest in my home. We can discuss whatever you'd like. Iothet remembers sitting for a long while with the Old Wanderer. Tell me, who is the leader of these lands? Why, that would be Garwig, Reeve of Wildermore. How old is he? Is he strong? Hale? His line is strong, but he is no longer young. Indeed. And who will succeed him? Our Reeve has many fine sons. Garnoth, Garfirth, Eatsig, Kuthbald, Garsig. And there is also Thrym Redbeard, the hero of Wildermore. He's like a son to Garwig. None can best him in battle. Is that so? Now tell me, what strongholds have you in this land? You wanted to know everything about Wildermore. I do not know why. I thank you for your time and hospitality. This has been most informative. I leave you with this gift, so that you may remember your service to an old wanderer. And that is when he placed the stone exactly where you found it. The cold came instantly. I was so afraid. These lands were once so fair. I effect concludes his tale. The memory is strange, foggy, unsettling. I do not feel like I was there. Merely looking on from a distance while I spoke too much of things that do not concern strangers. I told my neighbors, but they dismissed me as being mad. The stone terrified me. It made me cold, so I left. Now it is cold everywhere, and it's my fault. And now you see what the stone has wrought. The cold came over our lands not long ago, and it was a unnatural as the stone that froze my home a year ago. Is it my fault? Is it because I told him too much? Interesting. So, we can certainly speculate that that was Saruman. The White Wizard has taken everything from us. There you have it, Kippen. A grim and cursed tale, is it not? The stone Saruman gave Iothet is the key. It is a fragment chipped from the very stone that Nurzum carries with him upon his back. It is a source of the cold spreading throughout Wildermore. For it goes where Nurzum goes. Garwig must hear of the discovery at once. The White Wizard has taken everything from us. I hope my tale and that stone help you in your search, Kippen. Since I met the old wanderer, I have felt a curse of impending doom while everyone called me a superstitious old fool. Now that you are here, I feel hopeful again. I believe that you can lift the doom cast upon Wildermore. Very good. I know I've mentioned this a few times, but this is what I remember liking about Wildermore. Is that it's a very self-contained season, if you will. There's a very discreet storyline for the whole map and it just progresses as you progress through the map which is a lot of fun it's a little bit more linear i guess if you will not as open-ended as some of the previous maps but it's a nice break i like the variety i like the open-ended i like the linear it's a nice um it's a nice variety i guess
I am afraid of what is happening to these lands. That is a strange story indeed, Kippen. Garwig will be glad to hear it. You can escort these poor folk to Forlaw, and I will head north to continue my search for Thrym. I have wasted enough time seeing to these gentlefolk. I should be searching for Thrym. He needs us, and we desperately need him. These are desperate times for the Rohirrim. You gently tell Cinnaberg that your errand to speak with Garwig cannot wait and that the refugees will slow you down. Fine, Kippen. I will escort them so that you may make haste. But then I shall continue my search for Thrym. Wildermore needs him. You bite your tongue and hope that Cinnaberg soon realizes that Thrym is gone, so that she may confront her grief at last. All right, all right. I will see you all to Forlaw. Very good. Hasten to Forlaw to tell Garwig. All right. So, I'm actually just going to swift travel over These there, but desperate times for the Rohirrim. I think this is a good stopping point for this episode, so thanks for watching, and I'll meet you back in Forlaw for the next one. See you then.